I seen you cutting buoys this afternoon. Cutting those guys' gear out of the water is gonna do nothing but start another gear war. Then everyone loses except the trap makers. We gotta do something now. They're fishing island waters, busting in our territory three years in a row. They got no respect for local claim. What's it gonna take, Jimmy? How are they gonna know to cut your gear and not Carl's and not mine? Because I'm gonna tell them. Hold on, goddammit! What? What are you gonna do? I cut one part. Let them know I'm drawing the line. You got a room full of men in there thinking your hot head's gonna jeopardize their livelihood. This ain't no way to lead. I ain't worried about leading. I'm worried about my wife, my little girl. I wanna pass something on to my family, just like you do. Listen to me. Back off the gear cutting. There's other ways to handle this. Handle it then. The hell's going on? You're over the line. These waters are for island men. <laughs> you see any private property signs around here? Unless you want real trouble. Haul your gear and move out. I got one of them scattered guns too, you know. I ain't leaving till you haul this gear. You'll wait till hell freezes over. You're not gonna fight. You're gonna. You're not gonna fight this. You're gonna throw away everything. Cheryl, listen to me. The boy's dead. There's no way around it. It was an accident. Cheryl, please. I can't believe it. Cheryl. Daddy. Hey, cupcake. When are you coming home? I gotta stay here for a while. How long, Daddy? Put your mother on the phone, okay? Yeah. You gotta pull it together. You gotta explain it to her. I can't do it over the phone, okay? Hi. Hi. Grown. Are you here for good now? I got no plans to leave. You didn't have any plans to leave before either. I hope to stay out of trouble if that's what you're asking. Mom said you weren't coming back. Is that right? Where'd she say I was going? I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever get it back the way it was. It's never gonna be the way it was. It's not meant to be. You'll find your peace by the sacrifices you make. It takes everything you got. There's no other prize. You be good to your mother, okay, Cupcake? Tenny! Okay. Come on. Come on, baby.
you know this man? I don't know. There's a story he's been chopping. Curious, it surprised me, this man. Always the ladies, you know. Suburbia kid's wife. Now, curious. He shop with you? Hey, man, I... His hair might be a different color. I'm trying to be understanding. Hey, I'm looking, man. I'll put a dress on you, boy. All right, well, maybe I seen Fuck him. Fuck you like a farmer. All right, man, I said maybe maybe somebody I know might have seen him. Who? I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I got to ask. I, uh... There's $600 on the table. How do you want to earn it? Look, I have to ask. So ask. All right. I'll ask. I'll ask. Hey, you ain't a hard guy to find. I'd say that old engine has the stare of a dog who knows his day is done. You're right. It's downright dangerous. These half-breeds and Indians coming into Dawson, scaring the women and children. I wish they'd all just die out. This old Indian seems different. Different from what? Give him half a chance, he'd kill you as soon as luck at you. Margaret, I want you to meet bachelor number three. Good looking, loves dogs, speaks French. Bonjour. <laughs> Thanks for playing our game. What about Nathan Roberts, the FBI agent? You told your friends in the park you sliced him up. Cut off his balls, actually. Word is, there's a reward. <laughs> I wouldn't know. You in a position to claim it? Anything's possible. All right, Mum, since you're in the mood for a bit of a chat, I'll ask you a question. It's a question I've been meaning to ask you for some time. That night, you know, that night with Dad, that night you got me, what was it like, eh? When I was just a glint in your eye, what was it like? What was the background to it? I'm curious. And there's lots of people my age that share that curiosity, you understand that, Mum? They often ruminate, sometimes singly, sometimes in groups, about the particular facts of that night. That night they were made in the image of those two people at it. It's a question long overdue from my point of view, but as we happen to be passing the time of day here tonight, I thought I'd pop it to you. <laughs> 